The presence of Defense Minister Shoigu was particularly indicative of the true reason for the visit. He is presiding over the construction and renovation of six military facilities around the Arctic Circle, some of which will be ready by the end of the year. On the specific island where Putin visited, 150 troops are able to survive on their own for 18 months. Officials have said that they may deploy military aircraft on the island. This has been part of a larger military buildup in the far north, which has also included extensive military exercises. The military presence there is part of a wider Arctic strategy being pursued by the Kremlin. They have claimed half a million square miles of the Arctic Circle and are using the show of military force to push their claims. Part of this is for strategic reasons. Russia is shoring up its border with the NATO countries of Canada, the United States, Denmark, and Norway. But it's not all for show. The Arctic Circle holds immense amounts of wealth. The U.S. Geological Survey estimates that the region holds oil and gas reserves equivalent to 412 billion barrels of oil, about 22% of the world's undiscovered oil and gas. Aside from the military buildup, Russia has also made the Arctic a major priority in developing the infrastructure needed to exploit these resources. Putin may have been using the trip to signal his priorities in the far north.